Dang. <laughs> hey guys, Spencer here. Previously in that first segment, we noticed that we were getting into a bunch of issues when we were trying to log in via Selenium. It looks like Instagram slash Facebook has been upping their bot detection systems. So this is a way that you can bypass this particular system and that's by using cookies. So what are cookies? Cookies are essentially stored information about your website. It can save your login information, uh, just like anything that you could potentially do on that website, it can be it can store some version of uh, of a record for that particular website. So in this case, for logging in, we could make it so that our code remembers the cookies in order to log in without actually typing in the functionalities like your username, passwords, and then click your submit button. This will do it automatically uh, where the cookies are being automatically being read. And based on your previous session, your entire algorithm will then use the information from your cookies and then relay that back to the system in order to get you back in. Major shout out to Stack Overflow to actually accelerate this process and make this more coherent to me so that I can make this more coherent to you. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Now, the very first step is to actually make sure you log into the website. Once you type in your credentials, uh, you will then be in the website and then you can actually save your cookies via there. So let's do this. Let's run our algorithm. We'll be running into the error. Uh, of where there's suspicious login attempts uh, when you're logging in from your specific IP or maybe Facebook is detecting your specific use, which is like Selenium in this case. So let's, um, let's go through the errors and let's get into the website. So let's run our code, IG underscore me. It's running, it opens up the window now. Username, password, and there now should be a this just login. It did not do that. Interesting. All right, let's do this again. <laughs> let's do that again. To see if we get the suspicious login attempt. I think the more you do it, the more uh, you're going to be found out. Ah, there we go. So once we do this, get your security code and type it all in, and then we will go into how to save cookies to just basically bypass this entire login uh, system. We are going to create two different functions, one to save cookies and one to load cookies. And these will just be two helper functions. So let's begin over here. Uh, let's do a def save cookie. And then we'll be passing in the self function or a self value, which is a class. And then we're just going to do json dot dump self dot driver dot get underscore cookies and then we want to open this up into some readable format or, or file i'm going to be calling this cookies json and we are going to write to this file and this will just be in our base directory uh yes we also need to import json which i did not do yet um once we do that we have our helper function Okay. All right, now let's create the helper function for loading. Once we're done saving all of our cookies into our system, then now we could utilize all that, all those saved cookies after that first time in order to just bypass all of those first steps and make you less suspicious, <laughs> I suppose. All right, and then we are going to load it by doing this. Cookie is equal to self dot... Uh, we need to call the actual function or the actual file path to wherever the cookies uh, exist. So before we actually even do that, let us go up here and right here. We are going to create a cookies underscore file path over here before we actually even create our load function. Um, and that's going to be called cookies.json over here. Uh, we are also going to create like a list of different values that we could use in terms of websites. So in this case, we will do this cookie underscore websites. And that would just be, uh, in this case, let's create like a list of HTTPS Instagram.com. Once we have our list, 
we are going to initialize these values call self dot cookies underscore file path over here let's type in is equal to that and then we'll be doing the same thing over here we're just going to be initializing our values that is equal to this once we are good over here now we can actually load it so we can actually you know point toward the initialization uh, once we do that so we're gonna have cookie is equal to json dot load we're gonna be opening up the file uh, you can either point to the path or in this case i'll just do cookies at json for all intensive purposes i mean reading it in byte format over here and then once we have that we want to iterate through all throughout all of our cookies so actually this should be plural cookies so for cookie and cookies and cookies we want to call self.driver.add cookie 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 and we should be good over here this just loads cookies um, into browser loads cookies put a period over here get those warnings out of the way and we should be good here so let's actually run this function over here um, let's do this and let's call save underscore cookie and it will be the bot right here now we should have I just pulled it up cookies.json this should have all of your values inside of it relative to what we have going on in the instagram.com so once you save all of your cookies you are pretty much good to go we just need to configure our entire uh, script to actually load the cookies and continue to do whatever we want to do and this needs to be triple quotes yeah, which we good there cool all right, so once we do that, we are gonna be loading in the cookies via the initialization phase. Once we have the cookies file path and the cookies website, as well as um, initialize everything else, we are not gonna call Instagram.com over here, but instead we are going to do a try catch statement, try or try accept. And then the exception as E, we're gonna have that and print or whatever that exception is gonna be, and then print uh, error loading in cookies. Okay, then inside of the try statement, we are going to load in the cookies, load in cookies for the website. And once we do this, cookies is equal to json.load, we'll be loading our, in our saved cookies be open self dot cookie path uh, cookies file path over here that should be pointing over here self dot cookies file path and we are going to read in byte format over here once we have that we're just going to be iterating through all of our websites for website in self dot cookie underscore websites so if you have multiple websites you want to log in like facebook instagram amazon uh, you name it and make sure you actually save all of those cookies once you log into those websites and you should be good to go when you're trying to actually do the do the login piece we are going to be loading in our website so we're just going to be doing self.driver.get website web site and now we're going to be adding in our cookies so like for cookie and cookies which we have up here we'll be go iterating through the json file get all of those elements we're going to be calling in the self.driver.add cookie and it should be cookie over here so we should be good to go here after that let's get the driver to refresh refresh okay now let's actually test that out so let's quit out of the bot uh, quit out of here and let's actually try to load it to see if we are in good hands over here it loads in so we should not technically be on the login page ah so the cookies do work over here now let's just add some extra uh get out of these notifications um Let's do this. Not now, not now. 
yeah, this is the this is the second iteration. So we already did this over here. So let's just add like an if then statement. Um, so let's go over here, and we could now do this. So like else, um, we are going to be calling the title to see if we actually get like we've actually bypassed the login page. So let's actually do this. Uh, let's check out what the title is. Bot driver title. So it's Instagram. Okay, so let's do this. Um, if self dot driver dot gets or what's the title? Yeah, title. Title is equal to Instagram, or for more proper syntax to avoid all the really weird uh, errors that may be involved. If this happens and that text is inside of that specific. Uh, title we are we know that we're actually inside so we're just gonna do a print already logged in already logged in all right and let's get out of let's get out of this notification I believe that's a second notification so let's do the second notification and we do this let's put that over here let's get some sleep values to you sleep for like 1.2 seconds and then click out of that. And I think that should be good to go over here. And last but not least, let's actually save the cookies over here. Yeah, once we're done with all of that. So we should be good here. So let's get out of that, quit out of here, and let's run this. All right, cookies will now be inserted without, yep. Not now, please. Yep, and we are good to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this demonstration on how to utilize cookies when you're trying to log into websites or whatever you're trying to do using some form of method of actually just like storing your information and making your computer automatically use that. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Please check out my other videos. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.